Episode 89 of the Big Homies House. We got our peaches and we got the homies, man. What's up? How y'all doing? Y'all good? Peaches and the homies. Yeah, peaches and the homies. Big homie peaches. <laughs> What's up, man? How everybody doing? Shit. We got to relax. Yeah. Woo, sir. I'm off the Ciroc, man. Yeah, you know, it's, it's up in this lip, I didn't man. eat. Me Damn. Either. That's Cheers to off the rock with no food. Hey! Oh, hey. hey. you got food? Where, you, food. where you eat at? Oh, some fucking, I don't know, some pasta. You didn't know, then you remember, then you forgot again. I don't know the place. I don't remember the place, but I just know some pasta. I, you got, okay. Um, we got to introduce everybody, so I'm going to get distracted. <laughs> Big homie Roddy, what's up? What's good, boy? How you feeling? You good? Chilling. How are you? Man, you know, holding it in the road. <laughs> <laughs> Big, homie, Big homie JoJo. You're the big one, not the little one. Not the other bitch that's trying to take your name on Instagram. I had to put an underscore on my name because somebody with 90, 90 followers. Damn, Who hasn't posted 90. since 2014, 13? 13. You can't report it. Let me have your name. It's my name. Bro, she, what if she did, bro? Yeah, she got to delete Fuck. that page. Why did you have to report the page? He said, Tomo, watch Why? Why she got to be dead? <laughs> what, what if she did, Fuck. bro? How I don't you know. Probably, she probably check. She probably checked out. She probably checked. That's horrible. And that's the only God. thing she got for her or family to remember her Or she's just older about. and she just off Instagram. She don't give a fuck about it. She older? You seen the pictures? I don't know. Kodak seen the pictures. She didn't look too old. She probably the just did. Maybe she did what I did and changed the name. It's probably somebody that you know too that's or trying to spite one. you. It's somebody Facts. you know that's trying to spite Facts. you. Facts. But no. Yeah, that bitch JoJo got to put an underscore on her <laughs> shit. Facts. It's no way possible. They was trying to take your name back then. They shit was first, so. Oh. Obviously. They just beat you to the punch. Yeah. Fuck them folks. I'm yeah. underscore JoJo Alonzo. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to get you verified sure. soon, baby. Ding. Of course, big homie. Nah. Mm. So glam. Nice. So glam. You got your chesticles out today. You did that on purpose, too, huh? They look <laughs> amazing. They do up look incredible. Sitting all perky. Ding, ding. Ding. <laughs> Why not, right? Facts. This is that type of show, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do me to dress casual. Yeah, we ain't said dress casual shit. Just casual. Well, that's, she just pop out like that every day. Like, this is casual. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is like grocery store. You get your shit for free, huh? All the time. All the, Hello? What? All the time. That's, that's they chase me around, ask for my number, and I'm like, why are you going to buy my groceries? Are oh, you asking straight up? Well, yeah, quick. because if you're not, then what do I need your number for? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, a nigga oh. can't, so they can't, he can't John shoot his shot. Y'all harassing me in the grocery store. He can't shoot his shot if you're not. Buy my shit. It's not like I'm finna go and grab the shit that I wasn't grabbing already or nothing. Fraud, mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it, you know, store. whatever I was going in there for. But you cannot run up on me, especially not me and my kid. Okay, hello. And uh, you're not gonna buy this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do that. They do. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, if they, if you find, if you find enough, they'll be like. Hey, or they'll wait till the kids hit the corner and be like, I didn't want to say anything in front of the kids. <laughs> Nigga. Niggas <laughs> are savage. Hold on. But listen, at least she keeps it a buck. She kept you it a buck. You need to buy the groceries. Says, hey, like, I'm right. just this type of bitch. If like, you want to eat you, the groceries, you got to buy the groceries. You grocery. need to buy the groceries. Okay. Mm -hmm. And These we talking about your kind of groceries. Hello. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I be like that too, though, at the gas station. So, like, you ever seen, like, a bad bitch at the gas station? But then you realize, like, Joe Biden ain't did shit about these gas prices and she driving <laughs> a motherfucking Tahoe. So, like, you can't really holler at a chick at the gas station. Because nah. you know you're going to have to pay the fucking yeah. gas. Yeah, yeah, like, you got to wait so till she done pumping. <laughs> I don't think it's a difference. Like, mm -hmm. I just ain't ran down on nobody at the grocery store yet. Or you got to catch them when they leaving. You got to so, time. The fact that that's y'all mentality on like that's how y'all gotta come at us. That's why we come at y'all the way that we come at y'all about paying for the shit. Oh so God. stop making it a problem, then. It is a problem. That's we how just come already at us. we already seen y'all playbook. So we know what plays y'all finna run. We know what game y'all finna try. Cause we, we cause y'all done already tried. Try. Try. Yeah, you. Cause, all right, and so you know, lost, you, you which know is what it why is. Why you looking through the playbook? Because you try to figure it out. You try to figure out damn, like why I gotta try to look in the playbook. You know what a nigga about. You know what a nigga about to do when he approach you in the Walmart or he see you at the gas station. Wow, you know nice what he though. You, you know what he here for. And you got that fit on too. <laughs> You got the jubblies on. I bet when them things come out, they be like, Bruh. They ain't said the jubblies. <laughs> like, the jubblies, the chesticles. You know what you doing. Yeah, like, you know what you doing. 
I'm just trying to go to the shop. Hello. Nah. You trying to bag somebody in the grocery store? Just because she's dressed how I dress, y'all think she's trying to get a nigga attention? This really just how I dress. Like, what you know, I'm not going. Chilling? I'm not like, like oh, I'm going no. to Walmart. So, so you can't, zi- you can't zip. Get a nigga out you can't zip, zip it up. Why do I need to? Hold on, hold on. He said some women do that. Yeah, some women do that. Yeah, some women do what they exactly? They be doing that. They be wearing like sexy shit. Like, but do we you know, know that they do doing that, or do we just think that they doing that? That's why they doing that. I'm saying, what do you think a woman ought to wear? Why do you think a woman ought to wear? Why do you think a woman ought to wear? Why do you think a woman ought to wear? Why do you think a woman ought to wear? Why do you think a woman ought to wear? Why do you think Women that's know the how their body women. look uh, in the uh, mirror uh, uh. before they head out. That's, yeah, that's the first thing. Like, you can't count. You think you don't your body is nice? Yeah, like. You don't man. But it's like your body what? look hella nice, so now you can't dress nice. Right. You got to dress hella what? covered up. But, but you, you know you dress dressing nice. Got, you know you dress nice. You got to wear to go to the grocery store. Then what's more, Hold what's on. more not getting niggas' attention at the grocery store? A big-ass Kanye Yeezy sweatshirt. The big motherfucker. You know how many niggas I pull like this today? That's what I was going to say. You know how many niggas I pull like this today? JoJo walked in and pulled me. <laughs> nigga, I had so many errands to run. Do you she know how many niggas I pulled? Mm-hmm. Right. What you talking about? So, <laughs> yeah. what are you, so it's be not a lot a, of friction a, in this moment. It's not a difference. It's not a difference. Y'all going to, it's going to be the same both ways. So, he don't it, get well, however you, you want. But what I wanted to say is, just because a woman wants to dress nice and look nice and insinuate what she got going on, don't mean she doing that to bag a nigga. Fuck you, nigga. The nigga's going to come. And I'm just looking nice. They're going to come, And y'all right. coming because I'm looking okay. nice. And y'all coming because I'm taking the time out okay. to make myself look nice. Nah, to make you notice. Else. So like, don't get mad because you can't control what you're looking at. <laughs> All right. The woman do it Everybody for herself. Everybody shoot that shot at you in your little mini bun. Shit, you crazy. Anyway, man, let me got that. Get into the first topic of the day with the porch, where we talk about shit going on in pop culture and society. So um, ooh shit. You, you want to go first? You know what's going on? What's going on? The Big Facts Live podcast Wednesday. Well, by the time <laughs> this is come out, we would have been on already. It come out next Monday. Well, when you see this, you're going to be like, oh, it was Wednesday. I was there. And what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> yeah, and it was bitches know. shaking titties everywhere. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. So you want to go first? Mm. All right, cool. Let me go first. So, allegedly. No, nah, it's not alleged. These are facts. Mm-hmm. Well, let me say alleged. You got to throw alleged out there. So, it came out over the past few days that uh, one of the most um, famous first ladies... In, 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 in the U.S. government history is a throat goat. Throat goat. Wow. Throat goat. Somebody wow. tried to make a comparison and say that uh, Nancy Reagan was uh, more wholesome than uh, Madonna. Madonna. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And and somebody came through with the facts and said that, ah, Nancy Reagan is a cum gobbler. Not just any cum gobbler, the most famous cum gobbler in the MGM history lot out in Hollywood. Damn. They say that's why the, the goddamn the, uh, the, 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 the directors out in Hollywood loved her so much. That is insane. I believe that too. Oh, they say that's why that's why uh, Reagan dropped them drugs off in the hood. It's like we gotta get rid of these niggas. Yeah, I keep, keep fucking my wife. <laughs> shit. Boy, shut up. <laughs> Well, damn. Like, damn, is that the most, is that the biggest hoe glow up in history? Yeah. The biggest hoe? No. Who? In history? In history. Kim Kardashian. Oh, but Kim Kardashian not the first lady. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, it depends. Like, you trying to well, get on Mary, that statue, you trying to get on that statue. Well, Mary, Mag- like, Mary Magdalene went from being a hoe to being Jesus' best friend, so. Read the Bible, yeah, you know. Yeah. Right. Mary Magdalene. All was his, a whole. All, God everybody. All everybody in Jesus Click was fucked up. Yeah. Was a fucked up individual. Yeah. Were used to be. They were fucked up individuals. Mm-hmm. So yeah, shout out to Nancy Reagan for being a goddamn cum man. You know. Yeah, they said she she not only did it what she she did it in the offices as well. It's yes, like, she was a professional. She was, she was, office. A, she was a whole fashional. Damn. Hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for your appointment, sir? What are you talking about? Security guards were saying that. (laughs) Somebody's got to do it, right? I mean, yeah. Somebody do got to do it. Somebody do got to do it. Shout out to all the cum gobblers. (laughs) The throat goats? We we appreciate the throat goats, the... uh, the throat babies and all that shit, man. So yeah. shout out, shout out to y'all, man. Society. I feel like if we had a, a throat goat in the office right now, gas prices would be lower. Yeah. We wouldn't have, like, we should have let a woman be president. You know how many wars niggas would, would avoid with a female as president? 
I don't know how good America would look having a cum gobbler as a president, <laughs> but um, I don't know. You know, shit. That's just me thinking. You, what do you think? I, what is the cum gobbler going to do as the president? She going to make all them niggas surrender. Surrender. Oh, she's going to suck everyone's dick. I mean, she ain't got to be everyone, but, you know. Like the main people. That like Putin, gotta, get, get, get Putin okay. out of here. Yeah. Okay, bring him in. Okay, yeah. I get it. Oh yeah, of course. Then. World leaders would be a lot, a lot <laughs> less aggressive. Everything would be so much easier. The fact that y'all are so sexual, it's like, yeah, world peace would end if we just get our dicks sucked. It would. Like, what? Because niggas really know how niggas, niggas know, know how niggas that. think. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's and who's gonna want to go to work to get their dick sucked? He's gonna sleep. We need to put you in the fucking army. The fuck? <laughs> we, we need to put you in the office. You used to be in what office? I said you should be in the office. Oh, you need. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we, we need, I, I don't know. We need I to. Office. We need to have. You, know, you say you ain't been in nobody's office. I don't think so. I don't know. What's what you been doing in the office? Nothing. Okay, <laughs> we're not going. We're not going to do no offices. incriminating. Mm. But yeah, we need a um. We need a, a throat a throat goblin in the in the in the goddamn the office. oval office. Yeah, I agree. What's with your that. What's your porch? Um. You don't got one. Yeah. Well. Well, we can talk about Christmas. Fuck Christmas. Whoa, fuck Christmas. Okay, yeah, why? <laughs> yeah, why no, I'm, so, I'm joking. I'm joking. We do, I, got, I do got another one for the porch. Jesse Smollett. Oh, shit. Juicy Smollett. Juicy Smollett. <laughs> Who that? Juicy, Juicy Smollett. <laughs> the guy from Empire. What are you talking about? Was found guilty oh, yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. committing a federal hate. Well, he wasn't found. Was faking a federal hate crime. They need to gather up all these white women that's lying, too. What do you have? Go ahead and get that man. They just Why? found him guilty, though, right? Yeah, he was how, guilty. How long ago did he did, do that shit? That shit happened like two years like, ago, right? Two, three like years two, ago. Yeah. It feel like a while ago. It felt like two, about three years These last years two years were by fast. Empire was fucked Facts, yo, like, ever since. I, was I feel a like 2019 was like yesterday. Mm. I feel like it. But yeah, Juicy Smoulet was found guilty <laughs> of faking a federal hate crime. Which is the shit, just, the longer the shit went on, the crazier it got, right? Yeah. Like they say, this nigga was doing coke with the dudes. He he was he was um accused of, uh, what's the word when you when you working together with somebody? Whatever, working together. Accomplices. Yeah. Accom- Accomplices Accomplice. with with his accomplices. Yes, his accomplishings, and um he was uh, giving them hand jobs and shit. I'm like, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. this shit was doomed from the start. It was a lot to the story. <laughs> it was a lot going on, like. <laughs> Why did like? But the main question that people are are asking is why? Because they was in there high and freaked out. They made up a story, like this would go viral. The <laughs> fuck? They in there off cocaine, jacking each other off in a fucking bathhouse. Nah, Them niggas were high, feeling hella good. good. Well, you, we, well, he, yeah, Jesse is gay. He's openly gay. The yeah. other niggas gay too. He's getting jacked off in a bathhouse with a nigga. Yeah. Thanks. Is he not gay? Shout out to him. <laughs> like, whoa. No, shout out to him. I don't, just to was, I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know where his mindset was. But what do you earn? What do you gain from doing some shit like that? What was the Nothing. original story? You said what? It was a Trump was supporter. Remember story? he was going to Oh, yeah. The, yeah, he said he got beat up by some MAGA people mm-hmm. when he was oh, going yeah. to get a Subway sandwich yeah. one night in Chicago. And the niggas from Chicago was like, wait a minute. <laughs> that this shit don't, don't sound make right. sense. Who the fuck goes get a Subway sandwich? They would have killed him in Chicago. Like, <laughs> talking about they beat him. They, they beat me up in Chicago. They like. said they beat his ass. Man. Shit. They put yeah. a noose around his neck. And when niggas said that it wasn't real, when nah, niggas said it wasn't real, don't do that. I no mean, more. the Black Lives like, Matter yeah. movement was going on at this time. Yeah, he was trying to just be. A but part I think of that's it. a. I think that make it more fucked up on his part because, like, you know, real it shit is happening to people. No, it do. It, it, I ain't justifying anything. I'm just saying this is what was going on when he did that shit. Yeah, it was. So, so he thinking, thinking so he like, yeah, I got this crazy story. Yeah, I'm gonna really win him over now. Yeah. <laughs> I need more what? Time on power. Yeah, no, nah, he about to get his own spin off. Yeah. A Grammy we nominated. We gotta bring that in. We gotta bring him in. Well, nah, he about to be brought in somewhere he already, else. Yeah, he, he already about, is somewhere. He, he, he has a, pro, a previous commitment. He's not going to be able to make it. He has prior engagement. He's going to be on 60 on minutes in a, in a yeah, jail. He's going to be in 60 years. He's going to be 60 years. Well, nah, he don't get that. I think the minimum is he's going to get like five. You said he need to get off. Why? 
You remember that? I just feel like that boy probably didn't know what the fuck he was doing. He probably didn't think he was gonna get this serious. Man, he but he continued it. He kept, he, that nigga. Because what do you guys just think? Okay, so but he said he knew it wasn't true this whole time. They always know it's not true, but they never gonna tell the truth. You right? When do they ever? They look you in your face. They get on their knees. They cry. They lie. They put on their kids. They buy you stuff. They mamas. They know they lying. What's, why is he any different Are than you? your nigga? You gonna forgive at the house? Facts. You better forgive your nigga, so why we can't forgive Juicy? <laughs> he just can't do it again. You know? I agree. Like the girls say. I need to be the motherfucking, put me in charge. Throw go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Throw go for president. Shout out to that. Out. Yeah. Nice. Nah. Oh, we're going to drink to that. Yeah, that was a great toast, I think. Oh. That was a great toast. Throat go. I'm just saying, no, for real. Like, people forgive their partners or they, they nigga, you know, whoever. Why we can't forgive him? No one really got hurt besides him. Mm. It's fucked up for the Black Lives Matter movement because it's like, damn, you made us look real bad. Mm. But it's like, people make us look real bad every day. Like who? Boosie? Mm -hmm. I didn't say Boosie. that. <laughs> I didn't that makes that. perfect sense. <laughs> but do you get what I'm saying? Like, people pick and choose who they're gonna forgive. So I just feel like that. And maybe did not his heart was in the right place. Exactly. Like he, I feel he, like maybe he wasn't we being don't selfish. Know. He wanted the attention, but he like there's so many other people who can't. You know they don't have the the uh, the voice, the platform. He was to wrong the way he did because it is a lot of shit going on towards black people. So that's not cool mm -hmm. because it does make people not take the movement serious. But I just feel like you have to be realistic because these people are put on a higher platform and they're celebrities, but they're people. Mm -hmm. We're all just people. So he could have thought he was using his platform to bring more awareness to the situation and it ended up And it, it just on. was not okay the way right. he did that because you, you took it too goddamn far. We don't know what he was doing, but I just feel like he was in a bathhouse high with his fucking um, he attacker. He jacking probably, each other off and shit. He probably so I just been feel on like, that shit though. Like, he probably he been doing that before he was famous. Yeah, the bathhouse shit? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is him. I'm yeah, sure. That's him. The yeah, bathhouse cocaine shit. Yeah, that really happened. I mean, he admitted that they made there was and was doing, jacking sugar off doing cocaine. cocaine, smoking weed in the bathhouse. So I just feel like I'm gonna show you the article. Have you ever hung out with a nigga high off cocaine? Have you? Yeah. Right. Yeah, you I'm been around. Like you I'm about to say what? Saying like you did. Just saying, them niggas get to acting kind of weird. So yeah. he probably was in there high his mind and just got real creative. You gotta think he's an actor, so he was probably thinking he was acting. Mm. He came well, up with a whole story. I just feel like, let's give him, like, <laughs> probation or something. Yeah. Go to jail. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facts of cap. He needs, need like, five years. Let me go on to the first facts of cap. I'll go. go on to the first facts of cap. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, proceed, my nigga. Okay. <laughs> big dojo. Not the, not the little one. Yeah, not the little one. And that is facts, Okay. Not cap. Now, facts are cap. It is okay for your significant other to take family pictures with their baby mama slash baby daddy or baby daddy. Cap. Okay. That's cap. Um. Like yo, nigga, take a family pics with his baby mama and they kid. Can yeah, I'm not the governor. Like, you you're taking you're the one uh, taking, taking the picture. picture? Oh, Wait, what? I can take the oh, picture. Oh, you Oh, she the one taking the picture. Uh, why not? The girlfriend yeah. taking the picture. I thought you meant like professional pictures like they about to wear matching pajamas and shit. Shit, any type of pictures. I don't care if it's like, hey, we're all we're all going to But it's um, no secret. It's no weird shit. I could come nah, to you. you can't do that. I'm saying like y'all like y'all decide to take him to the zoo, whatever. You take him to the zoo. You know what I'm saying? Oh and, yeah, and facts. I thought it was taking, different. I thought they was pictures. taking like pictures, like yeah, this is my yeah. this is my family. What's the, so what's the difference between professional pictures and, and those type pictures? Because if we just posted if we just posted up at a party, we like any type of event. You my baby mom. That you got my son. So why y'all can't take professional like, pictures? Right. Because, 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 because we don't go professional out, like, professional not, pictures. That means like yeah, but like still a family. No, we not. What's the, we just got a kid together. Yeah, we just got a kid. He exactly. just said that his baby so, mama was his family. So if y'all said those are that's that's facts, it's acceptable. Y'all said it's acceptable. Yeah, right? for, yeah. If it's not okay, no professional so, picture. So what if you doing that, taking pictures, like y'all posting the pictures on social media? Mm. You might got a picture printed out or whatever. 
Now, you know, your child may end up thinking that y'all together. Now, y'all got to deal with that shit. Like, how are y'all not together? You know, I, I see pictures of y'all all the time. Y'all always together. Da, da, da. What's ah, all the time. I mean, we took a lot of pictures. Yeah, like pictures. Like, we're, not gonna be, child, we're not going to be that close, my nigga. You got a child. So, first of all, y'all going to know each other from one or before one to 18. So, off rip, that's 18 pictures. <laughs> Are you high? I'm saying like one for each birthday. Okay, one for each birthday. Eighteen pictures right there that you that that you will now, Jojo. Jo, I'm gonna ask you. Do you have a picture for every birthday party you've had? I know I don't. For me? Yeah. No. Uh huh. Yeah. I may have two. Fat. I don't know where them pictures are. Actually, I probably have them. They're probably somewhere, but. That's why now with my daughter, I make sure that like, because I don't I want to see my shit and I can't. So I think she would want to see it. So I take her pictures, print them out and put them in a photo album. You're you're in the digital age. <laughs> so you can <laughs> save a picture. Like, yeah, you know, when you well, like back in the day, you took the motherfucking Polaroid joints. You know, that shit out of eat. Automatically came out. I'm saying, but now I got both. Like now I got one that's like it's you printed out. Polaroid you can joints? see that. And then the one in my camera. Something mm. you can touch. Here you go. Hello. Mm-hmm. Okay. But now nah, I don't think nah. Like if the only way we taking the picture together is like it's on like some iPhone shit. Yeah, we not finna yeah. get together in the mall and goddamn. That's if y'all together though. Yeah, but if we not, but if we not together. So she's just my baby mama. So I got a whole new girl. Saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all not if y'all together. taking a professional picture, that I mean y'all family, y'all, hey, y'all together. together. Hold on, so is, 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 the, is my girlfriend in the picture too? Yes. No, no, no. She's not in the picture. Oh, she, yeah. She, Why she, she can't be in the picture? I'm saying. Why she can't be in the picture? Because of. Uh, is it wrong if she's not in the picture? That's your stepmom. If we take a family picture, let's go all the way. But what if she's not your wife? So? She's my step girlfriend. So would you take it only if your step girlfriend was was in it, or you won't take it at you all? You talking about like some some f- professionals? Yeah. No, I'm talking about regular ass pictures. Regular ass pictures, it don't matter. That should, that that don't matter. We take pictures with fans all day. I, my baby mama a fan. Damn. So okay. you know, taking yeah, pictures yeah, with baby mama. Shit, yeah. Why Talk do y'all be shit. having kids with people y'all don't like? Cause, oh, I don't have like kids. It's not. It's not that you it's don't, not don't like. Got it. no kids. I don't got and kids. And we got this fake baby mama we hate. No, nah, but I'm saying you have like niggas. Niggas ain't hit a chick and I like. I hate his fake baby mama. Uh, the niggas ain't hit a chick and you, you be like, 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 yo, Ugh. I'm glad I wore rubber because you could never be my baby mama. It's a lot of niggas that don't like rubbers. She you don't know, like rubbers. They weren't ready to have I the baby. I don't like them. Yeah, they but don't. like just because we not ready for a baby don't mean the baby not gonna come. We can say, yeah. you know what, I don't even like you like that. So and she's like, well, fuck you, nigga. I'm still gonna have this baby. And now, nah, facts though, they be coming like that. They come but like, y'all be like coming that. like that because if y'all didn't come like that, they could never come like that. You get what I'm saying? I think I, I get, get you, you, but saying. like it's not. Mm-hmm. I, like, mm-hmm. like, At the end of the day, bit, she like, said, if we coming like that, then they can't come like that. If um, they don't come like that, come like then, what though? Oh God, <laughs> like that. If Niggas, they don't do that, pull out games be, then a bitch can't come like, like, hey, I have this baby. How? Well, sometimes, How? The, sometimes the rubber break. Sometimes my ass. You, there's so many different ways. Well, if we put it there, we'll have a baby. There's so rubber. many different ways to make sure there's no baby on the way, and re- adults and don't want to be babies responsible. Just, and sometimes babies just happen. No, nine times out of ten, you could prevent the baby from happening, but people don't want to do that. So it's just like, how do we prevent a baby from happening? Come, come on now, get on, condoms, get on, condoms break. Get on plan B, birth control. Birth plan control. B. That's you. Condoms. We can't do nothing about right. that. But you can stop having sex with women one. that you, you know stop, are not on birth you can control. Stop you know you bitches. don't want to have a baby. I don't nut in bitches. I know you ain't talking raw dog. I'm just saying, yeah, raw dog. <laughs> I know you. I know that ain't who I think it is. I, but I said stop nut in dogs. bitches. You, I don't nut it. I nut on boobies. Niggas have sex raw and pull out all the time. I don't like it because I I don't know how I don't know how biology works. So I think if I a little bit of pre nut get into you, you gonna get pregnant. Yeah, so I'm scary. Yeah, it's a chance. Hey, I'm scary. It's Shit. a chance. You just gotta know the bitch like you fucking like. You gotta know if this bitch fertile, like. And are niggas don't know bitches like that. Niggas is, hitting off, niggas is hitting our first night. I, we don't know that bitch like that. Wrap that shit up. That's crazy. You gotta wrap it up and pull out. Just I think y'all wanna fuck up first night with no condom. It's like fuck it. If oh, you're nah. drunk, sometimes it happens like that. If you're drunk and shit just happened real quick, shit. Maybe just think you hot and we not saying living now. I'm, I'm saying living. I'm not living. I, I can't know. Do that. You got a kid. Can't you do living? That. What? No, I got a kid, but we I'm just not living shit. like that. We know shit like that. I'm just saying I don't be I don't playing like that. So sometimes niggas don't have that rubber. I don't. I don't do that. 
So you don't have random sex with our brothers at all? No. Why would I do that? Because he belongs to somebody else, right? Mm. Who said that? So, nine times out of ten, they real. always I'm do. Real. They, either you get in, you're the one getting cheated on or cheated right. with. Let's mm. remember, every time. Wait, whoa, whoa, what? Hold on, pause. Mm. Wait a minute. Let's pause. So you said if you fucking a nigga, then you're either getting cheated on or, or cheated, cheated with. with. So if you don't want to protect yourself, that's your bad. You get Damn. what I'm saying? You in Atlanta, though. She, I'm not in Atlanta. I'm in the world. Where, where are you from? I live in Las Vegas. Oh, uh, that's probably worse. Oh, no, Vegas? but I don't have no... I don't know. No, no, It's not worse. I'm just saying I'm been in the world. I'm grown, so I have a lot of life experiences, and I just know people. And I just know that what you going to do with you when you're not with me is your business. I can't stop no it. I can't what you're control doing. it. I can't do nothing about it. So I can protect and control me. Right. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, for sure. Don't be out here right. having unprotected sex Y'all with somebody you just meet. Don't do that. Ding. Okay. They, they, need, they need more stronger birth control. Not for only for just kids, because yeah. a lot of people I'm like, they worried about the kids. They're not even worried that about what's really the other days. shit. The kids might be the least of the problem. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of they shit. They don't give a fuck nah, about kids always the worst problem. Kids always worse. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn if you got something gonna burn a nigga dick off. Kids is always worse. <laughs> you know why? You gotta deal with kids for eighteen years. I'm so uh, yeah. my shit off. Not burn your dick off. Acid light. <laughs> kids is a hundred percent worse than that. Fuck that. If you're not ready for kids, motherfucker be like, oh, your kids are a blessing. No, the fuck they not. Not if you don't want them. That's what old heads be saying. Yeah, niggas like, no, fuck that. If That's you don't want kids, kids are not a blessing. Hair, nobody, yes, saying. they are my little baby. It's a little blessing. Because you want her. Yeah. If I had a like, kid. <sighs> remember that, that shit, nigga, uh, Rafiki throwing Simba off the mountain? Out of here. <laughs> Yo, you see. Fuck them kids. Y'all seen uh, Insecure? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fuck them kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she yeah. got down. Yeah. yeah. Fuck them kids. Hello. Yeah, man, fuck them kids for Shusky. Anyway, um, let me go to my faster cap. So, faster cap. All right, so, I've seen women online that be like, if a nigga is fucking a chick, she should be able to ask him for money. Do y'all agree with that? Yes. Yes. You know I agree with that. Yes, because she fucking him. Like, I'm fucking Why you. Like, I'm fucking giving you, you the most of me I could give you, nigga. If I can't yeah. ask you for nothing. That's be these bitches' problems. You fucking a nigga, I mean, you can never ask for nothing. It depends on how long y'all fucking know. That yeah, we give that, a fuck if we just started fucking this oh, nah, right instant. Nah, you can't. Nah, you don't need don't to fuck. Have, I see what you're saying. It's I a million niggas that want to fuck. Me? Why you? It depends. Because you like him. What the fuck? How do you if know If y'all that? fucking for like 10 months. If he just said months, we just started fucking, like how do we know? No, like but what we're saying is we should be able to be, what we're saying is we're comfortable enough to ask in a nigga The niggas are comfortable enough to ask a complete stranger for some pussy. Why can I not ask your strange ass for some money? Yes. Like, All right, let me ask. My, let me get to my facts or cap. So facts or cap. So if a man is fucking you, you think he should be able to ask you? I mean, you should be able to ask him for money. Facts or cap. If a nigga is fucking the chick, should he be able to ask her for shit? He already asked you for something. Pussy. Man, you getting dick? No, we talking about Who money. Who cares? That dick be like nothing. You better not be ask me for no fucking it's money. Something be horrible. That dick be horrible. Are we really gonna compare that to yes. anything else? So, Even if the dick so, is great. Why do you think they got them new ass vibrators and shit? The women have spoken. The well, actually, all right, so, all right, so we, if we saying that. That's not an even exchange. They got the little mold of the pussy in the booty now. Y'all be calling us, though. <laughs> That's crazy. Because if, if you walk in, okay. Right. Why are you not using that molded pussy at the Hold house? on, let me, I'm going I'm to I'm table, table that for, uh, uh, you got to answer the question, though. If a nigga cannot, if, if you fucking a nigga, can he ask you for something? Can he ask you for some money? He better not ask me for no money. But y'all fucking each other. I don't give a fuck. He better not. What that mean, though? What that mean to you? <clears throat> what does what mean? If a nigga asks you for money. I just feel like he's not the nigga for me. And that's just me personally, because I can't speak for everybody else. But I've been there, done that. And I'm not going to be that one again. I'm not doing that again. Okay. I didn't help the nigga get on his whole ass feet. So he could get on and leave your ass. Not for, like, a white girl. But, like, uh-uh. You're not going to be doing that to me again. Just yeah. for you giving me some horrible ass dick. No. So you fucked the nigga long enough for you to know that he was giving you horrible dick? No, he wasn't giving me horrible dick. He was giving me some good dick. That's why he got some money. Oh, okay. But I'm not doing it again. I didn't give a fuck. He could be the best dick ever. That's not the dick gonna get some money up out of me. Facts. I learned my lesson. I got a kid. My kid got to get that money. 
if a man So a nigga can't count on y'all for shit but some pussy. If he fuck if, what I'm saying is he better not feel comfortable with asking me for shit. Like I'ma be like, I'ma be like, what? I'm be so disgusted. I'm be scrubbing the shit out of my pussy just knowing that that's the type of nigga who was inside my shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, can't I can't unfuck believe... him, no baby. Okay. That shit there forever. Exactly what I'm saying. That shit's that. So, like, that nigga better not ask me that shit. All right, so, damn, that's crazy. What? Y'all know who y'all can ask for some money from? The who? bank, apparently, not y'all. <laughs> right. Crazy ass. Right. Y'all know the ones. Because at the end of the day, we know that there is a tier bracket that when you date it, you have to stay inside. Men, please know your tier brackets and the women that are in your budget. Because there are some bitches that are out of your league that you be chasing and get mad when she come at you like that. What? All right, so, all right so I do gotta, you gotta so come down to What tier, makes women nigga? think they out of the nigga league? Because y'all, because like I said before, y'all we could be, working, be out of a nigga's league. Y'all could be working at the same spot and think y'all out of a nigga league. Nah, facts. Facts. What? You, because we got pussy, and we got one up on you. We always gonna have one up on you, and that's it's we always gonna bum have one up bitches on you. with pussy. Let's cut it out. And you will hit cut her. Cut it out. And, you will hit and that's, her. All really that's, that's all she'll get. That's the craziest part. That's all she'll get. But she know that you gonna hit her, so that she gonna use something to her advantage. Man, she can't use shit because I'm not gonna get nothing pussy. off not hitting her. There's no leverage. I can live without hitting her. Y'all don't be acting like it though. What I'm saying is, she try to throw that throat goat. On your ass, you gonna be like, you said what? Exactly. We, I mean, we at work. Yeah, I know, but shit. Yeah, that's what looking it's dumb be. as hell. Gonna, that's what it's gonna be. Then shit, it's gonna be like shit. So then that shit gonna be fine. Then you gonna wanna always have the shit. Now you going crazy over the bitch. Now no, nope, it's gonna be like hey, pregnant. so so what are we? <laughs> see you later, chump. <laughs> no. Y'all gotta see that TikTok for that shit to make sense. That shit. Was <laughs> see, see you later, chump. <laughs> Out of here. Motherfucker be like, yeah, what are we? <laughs> what are we? You speak French? <laughs> but nah, that's funny. Well, nah, my question was, goddamn, so you was talking about how niggas got them, um, how, how, oh, so how y'all got toys and shit, right? <laughs> so it's common, like, you know, you walk in the chick room, you see about 50 million little mega machines lined up in this motherfucker. <laughs> and you think it's, it's, it's normal, right? That shit yeah. normal. Y'all walked in the nigga room and see a motherfucking pussy pumper 2000 on the bed. Like the 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 torso with the motherfucking the fat ass booty cheeks and the pussy and the booty and shit, the mold. Yeah. Would y'all accept that shit or you think this nigga's a weirdo? I'll accept it. I would accept it too because now we finally got a bitch for the threesome. Put her on the bed. Yo. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. Cause no. These niggas don't never got a bitch for the threesome. You got all these bitches but none of them are down to fuck. No, they down to fuck. They just not down to fuck you. Like, That's the problem with me. <laughs> they down to fuck. Y'all be initiating the threesome. How you want the threesome and you don't have the two bitches? Because he wants you to initiate it. That's not going to be my job. Bring your hoes. Let's fuck your bitches. But now we got Pussy Pumper 3000, right? Shit. That don't count for a threesome, though. Not for him. It's for me. <laughs> what, you about to be licking that motherfucker? Like. Right. I, I don't trust niggas because niggas don't clean themselves <laughs> properly. I'm gonna so, clean the bi- Oh no. We was never I could just imagine to like you got that. We was never gonna just pick it up off his shit and be like, let's lick it. <laughs> Ew. Is this crust? I'll be having to wipe my <laughs> niggas off before we even get in the bed. <laughs> let me let me clean you. That bitch. is the that's the fucking worst when you about to goddamn do some nasty shit. You gotta shit. clean these niggas. You gotta clean you these bitches. I be hearing those stories. You be having to clean these bitches. I be hearing those stories. That's that's not like bitches can be can be can be sitting right next to you and be like, yo, what is that smell? Oh, that sounds rancid. Oh, my God. smell like ranch and hot dog juice. Oh, my God. He said ranch and hot dog dog juice. Damn. Oh, you wouldn't She looked like she didn't smell a couple bitches. Why did you look down like that? She got her nose like she had. Like she smelled a couple (laughs) bitches, right? That shit shit gave you you a flashback. Uh, She just smelled it. Damn. I I hate that for y'all. I ain't never gonna get that shit. It was so long ago, but I had smelled something so stanky. I'm like, yo, something stank. <laughs> what the fuck is this? And this girl, she got up and walked past me, and I smelled that mm-hmm. shit. And I said, I would have been mad as fuck. Mm. And you was just chilling, enjoying your day, enjoying your freedom. I was like, <laughs> that shit fucked up Damn. your whole life. I was like, her pussy stank. <laughs> oh my god. That's the first thing. Like, damn, her pussy stank. Let me go to my next Faster Cap, man. So, Faster Cap. Women 
shame hoes more than men. Mm. Yeah. Because y'all like the hoes and we don't because we call them hoes because they be trying to fuck our niggas. And then y'all be the like niggas that they fucking so y'all don't shame them because you want that shit. Fuck. The only only time niggas shame hoes is when they can't get the hoes. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Cause at that, that too. At that point, shit, you know, you just the nigga that's left out. Yeah. Sitting on the curb. What you think? If you if you a hoe, you a hoe. I think that women do shame hoes more than the men shame hoes. Yeah. They be mad. But it's like, your nigga gonna fuck the square bitch too. So don't hate the hoe. You should just be mad at your nigga. The square bitches be hoes too. Like, the square bitches be the bigger hoes. But they be undercover. So everybody think like, she's a hoe. Whole time she's about? bigger hoes. Square hoes. Oh, square hoes. Yeah. I remember when I was in college, I had a square hoe. Who would never knew she was a hoe. They be the nastiest. <laughs> Them hoes be some she real was, hoes. She was on call. I miss college. College yeah. was fun for that reason. I need My thing is, is, it ain't a right, problem if you out. hold you a hoe. I have no problem with motherfuckers out. being hoes. Okay? Motherfuckers is hoes. Just be a hoe. I don't care. My problem. But, but, if you are openly fucking my nigga knowing that he with me type shit, I'm going to call you a different type of hoe and I'm going to beat your ass. Like, it is what it is. Like, you just accept what comes with, with being a hoe. Like I said, ain't nothing wrong with being a hoe. She is. If he hit me. My problem is, a lot of these girls be hoes, but shame hoes. They want the benefits that come with being a hoe, but don't want to be called a hoe. Because a hoe, you got to yeah. come up, because it's like, it's different because who calling you a hoe? Like If you a hoe, do it matter? Yeah, it do. It do matter, because hoe is like... Something about you internally is fucked up. Not just that you like to fuck. Like, deep down, you just... What? Like, grimy. Nah. Mm-mm. A hoe mean you be sucking dick on a regular basis. And you, sometimes you get paid for it. Am I wrong, Roddy? Nah, you right. And sometimes you get paid for it. Sometimes there's compensation for being a hoe. Sometimes these hoes just want to suck dick. Niggas can be hoes too, though. Niggas don't care about being hoes. But, it's but you call a woman a hoe, that's going to fuck up her whole day. Yeah, it's going to fuck up their day because you try her by calling her a hoe. But like, you know she that's a hoe. like me being a bitch. And then a motherfucker be like, bitch. And I'll be like, you just call me a fucking bitch. Like, you just you a bitch. Me <laughs> I mean, no, I'm a bitch, but if you call me one, that's that you trying me. Like, How? Because you calling me a bitch. Like if it, all right, so a lame man nigga called a lame man nigga. Yeah, if he don't think he, if he he know he lame, lame he niggas know they ain't lame. Well, don't try him like that. Well, me me personally, if he a lame, if I felt comfortable calling him a lame ass nigga, then he not gonna. Me be personally, shit. if you calling me some shit, you you trying to start some shit fucking tomorrow. If you sell pussy yeah. and I call you a hoe or a prostitute, at the end of the day, you know you both of them things. So what are we? What are you upset on? If you be like, bitch, no, not even bitch. You ain't nothing but a hoe. I'm going to be like... Do you sell pussy? No. I'm saying for this situation. Do you sell pussy? Like, if you if the nigga call you a hoe, you sell so pussy. You can't get offended. No. How you going to get mad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Because you just tried me by calling me a hoe. But you're a hoe! But do real hoes be getting offended when you call them a hoe? Yes. Yes, bro. Yeah. Like, I've seen... I, I posted a video on my Twitter this day about a girl talking about how a lot of women be prostitutes but don't want to be known as prostitutes. And, like, all the women who I know... Live like that, got upset. Like, bro, like, it's not Are a bad thing. Are you mad that they don't want to be putting their business out there? Why they can't sell their pussy on the under? If you say, if you gonna say, what's pussy, the difference between a sneaky link and a bitch selling pussy on the under? Well, the sneaky link probably gonna be free because we was just on. But it doesn't time. matter. She gets to be sneaky and gets to be discreet. Nobody gotta talk about that, right? Mm-hmm. You're not blasting the sneaky link. Why well, how, gonna, oh, first why of all, gonna blast how, how you gonna be? A, how you gonna be a lady? private hoe? Why she can't be a private hoe? How are you a private hoe? Why how are you, you gonna get business? Why are you in charge how, of how the hoes manage their business? How you gonna get, how you gonna get business? Just like Instagram businesses that be having private pages. Why the fuck that's they crazy. doing that? That's we crazy. That's crazy. We don't know. Hell. We don't know that, why they're that's doing that's that. Crazy that's crazy. That's just back to why is it an issue if somebody a hoe? But maybe it's everybody not. don't want to be known that they a hoe. Maybe they just doing it. You know. Whatever. No, I'm just saying generally. No, I'm not saying like to because to women. Because I make it. I don't want to be called a hoe. Called a hoe. But I'm niggas saying, don't like, care about being called hoes because niggas know they hoes. Niggas do not care. And ain't no bitches ain't gonna never do nothing about it though. It's like your niggas a right, hoe, niggas. but it's like she gonna just cry in the car. 
She's not gonna be like, I can't be with you because everybody keeps saying you're a hoe. Right. They're not gonna give a fuck. But a nigga's gonna be like, bitch, you's a hoe. I can't be with you. Everybody keeps saying you's a hoe, bitch. I can't. Mm -mm. Why do they do that? <laughs> Yo, shit. Nah, this shit funny. Hey, yeah. See you, chump. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> Look at this shit. This shit. See you, chump. <laughs> that shit's so funny, bro. But yeah, shout out to the hoes. We love hoes. This is a whole friendly show. Uh, we're going to the next topic. What would the homies do? Um, mm. Yeah, I think what would the homies do? Let me go first. Okay. Oh, you want to go first? No. Go ahead. All right, shit. Let me go. Uh, what would the homies do? Let me go. Uh, uh, all right, so cool. All right, so I got a, a situation for everybody, right? Y'all listening? Y'all good? Are y'all ready? Yeah. So, like, say you got an ex, right? Mm -hmm. This is your ex. It's somebody you used to deal with, but you in a whole new relationship. Okay. Now, let's say your ex was into some real illegal shit. Some real illegal shit. Let's say some money laundering. They laundered like $3 billion from the government. They're going away forever. Right. Long ass time. So they want to link with you one last time. But yo. The current partner say no. You going to see your, your your ex for the last time? And are you wrong for going? I mean, if you up them racks, you ain't going. No, I'm saying you're not with them no more. You in a whole new relationship. Mm -hmm. But this your ex who just did some illegal shit, and they going away. So you just gotta. They ask to oh, see. Yeah. They ask to see you one more time before they go yeah, away. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? Why do I need to? She just wanted yeah, three billion. No, I'm, no, I'm, but you're not getting none of it. But she's just going away. Oh, you're not getting none. Yeah, that's that was nah, her crime. The nah. government went and got their money back already. Nah, she broke. Her. She going to jail. Fuck her. She going to jail. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, let's take. Yeah, like, all, right, all right, let's take the money out of. It. Let's say they just killed. Yeah, take the money. They just killed like three police officers. Yeah. Yeah, they just killed like three police officers. They going to jail forever. They want to see you before they go. That's on her, bro. She gotta go do it. You feel me? You're not fucking with her. Nah. I'm definitely not going to see this nigga. Like, no. All right, so what if it wasn't, what if it's not you? What if it's your partner's ex? That's not going to be my partner, because what do you need to see this bitch for? She's going away. But she want to see her one more time. For what? Maybe to reconcile. I don't know. No shit be happening. He going to fuck around. Have me go with her. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, no shit. Her. No, no. He just needs to go ahead. I'm going to leave you with Jailbird. Y'all have a good day. But she going to jail. Why it's do one you time. Want to see someone that's headed to jail and you're not with them no more. Okay, hold on. Go okay. ahead. So, let me just play devil's advocate here. It's your ex, like, y'all got history. Nah, fuck all you know that. What I'm but, hold on, here, listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Listen to what I'm saying. I was going to say that, but I say it all the time. Listen, <clears throat> listen, this is just for other people that's like, I don't give a fuck what y'all saying. They could have had an ex who they really, like, they really. Love that nigga like they probably with the new nigga because because she had to leave that nigga because he was he, she knew he was going down the wrong way and she loved the shit out of him but she was like I I gotta move on now she with this nigga but now she find out he going away forever and you ain't never gonna see him again so it's like damn like I just feel I like need to if see you, really you like to what see that person that bad you can go sign up to visit them incarcerated when I'm out your motherfucking life. Nah. Damn, not so glam. No, not I so feel glam, you though, but I you know. I just feel like if this is your ex, like, I can see if it's like your kid's mom or dad <laughs> or something. I could respect that a lot more, but just an feel? ex. But feel? I also Would feel you? like. If my girl wanted to see her ex nigga that was going to jail. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Yeah, that's well, yeah, yeah. Why? But the thing is, is even if so, even if you did allow her or him to go, you know, it's like, what? I mean, what's the most y'all gonna do? Like, what y'all gonna fuck? Okay, then you fuck. Then guess what? The bitch goes to jail. Okay, you got whatever you needed from her. Whatever, y'all reconcile. Whatever the fuck you need huh? to reconcile. Hold on. Wait, huh? Females is not doing flag on the play. But yeah. I, hold on, I'm red, not saying red, I want red, him flag. to listen. I'm not saying I want him to do that. I'm just saying. What is the worst that could come from the situation? Now, if he wants to see this girl, I have to be like, okay, I'm going to ask, like, why the fuck you want to see this bitch and she going away from I'm going to ask that first. But then if he be like, shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's shorty who, who obviously, if we do my nigga, I already know who shorty is. So, like, she going away forever. I might be like, okay, shit. But well, can uh, I come too? Let's throw this bitch a throwing a, going away party. Yeah, let me Let's come too. Let's have a good time. No, you can't Because what the fuck? 
Oh, you're trying to have a good time. Wink, I wink. mean, oh, we can have a good time, too. Wow. Why not? She's going away. Let's have a great time. Oh. I wasn't even thinking like that, but. <laughs> she's going okay. away. But, yeah. I'm just saying. Nah, but nah. Nah, she can't. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a. It's, it's a. Yeah, that's I just true. be trying to say like there be people feeling oh, like that like yeah, somebody, yeah, it is. somebody yeah, out there feels that like same that. way like nah this like nigga like, I rock time. with this nigga but me personally Shit. I wouldn't go if my man had a problem with it I would have been like yeah I would have tried to see him cause you know if you my ex we, we cool like you the no, homie we not cool I'm saying we ain't got no beef like it ain't yeah, no no, I got beef with all my bitches exes yeah okay Put it like that. I feel that y'all probably feel like that, but me, <laughs> me, not y'all, me. Me, me, me. I have my me, 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 my, my, my. <laughs> my, more, more. What? What you about to say? About. Yeah. What? What were the homies do? Mm. Okay. So, say you meet this person. Okay. Th well, see, I don't want to say significant other, but say you out and you meet this guy, or you meet this girl. And you guys are talking, y'all vibing. They cool. They cool as fuck. Like, they have real good conversation. Charming, look good. Everything like that. And they reach up and lift, I don't know, to get something. Uh -huh. And they had on a Michael Kors watch. What the hell? I mean, are you going to fuck with them? I don't think I'm Michael or as a <laughs> Or as a woman, let's say... She had on some oh, busted yeah. shoes or something. Okay, okay, okay. This is perfect for me to leave out on. She got pee. Yeah, that, if she had on some busted shoes. Like, oh, we can pause it. Oh, no, 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 Judge. Y'all go ahead and talk about this. I'm going to come back. <laughs> Judge, you can't get that out of here. Now, it don't that's even that's have to be a watch. It could be like, what is it like that a woman has like a super turn off for you? Like, yeah, her, her shoes her. were like, dirty or something. Like, oh, that's, that's, that's the biggest one. one. That's the biggest one. If you got some dirty A1s on, I'm not yeah. fucking with you. No, like, that's the biggest what one. What if you don't even see them? Like, you talking to her, she's real pretty. Nah, we peeping that. No, no, no. Because I'm, all right, so, so look, say that. That. No, let me say this. Let me say, say you this. walk into a T Mobile store. And yeah. she's a girl behind the counter. And she cool, she charming, she's beautiful. And she's, yo, y'all having a real good conversation, laughing. All right, so, all she right. walk around the corner, busted ass force. Listen, no, I'm going to take it a step further. <laughs> Some shit that's worse than, well, all right, so the only thing worse than that for me is like, all right, it's two things worse, actually. Like, when your makeup fucked up, like, it's like your face look too pale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, and you got a fucked up wig. Oh, you see the lace front. Yeah. Okay. You see the, you but see I the, get uh, that part. Gate. Y'all don't like that, okay? But you see that off rip. You see that when you coming into it, so you know you're going to be good off shorty. What I'm saying is you already got your feelings invested because she's nah. she's nice, she look good, you gonna she charming. Like, y'all vibe you like, damn, she cool as fuck. I'm going to ask this bitch out. Like, she yeah. cool as fuck. And then she come across the counter and her shoes busted. It's like you get her number, but you're not going to hit her, though, because she look like yeah, that. Yeah, because she not that, yeah, like she not not that tight. She not that tight. So, like, you not going she to can... She's, what if she just a hard worker in them her work shoes? And she All right, so like, if, if those are work shoes, she, like, she work at T-Mobile or some shit like that. But if we go out, AOS got some goddamn... Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't say nothing about going out. I'm saying first. Because I feel like that is the... The All right, first so... time you meet somebody, they, you be like, damn... She cool as fuck. I want to get her number. And right before you be at, about to ask her for her number, you see her shoes busted. Would you continue to Is try? Is that ass fat? <laughs> Would you that matters. Okay, so we have to take that into perspective. No, because we're not going base. We're not gonna go based off of that. We're gonna go based off of y'all was vibing. Y'all like some of the same shit. Y'all had a great right. conversation. She funny. She looked nice. And we and we already talking and I like her and shit. Yeah, y'all talking. You don't even know why she was. I feel woman. I feel like the um the line between a a, a girl and a, and a woman is her shoe game. Like, cause you can tell yeah. like niggas be like I be watching a lot of that to catch a predator shit, right? And the first thing like I've seen like girls in high school and girls that are grown, they. Mm -hmm. Shoe game be like you can know you know when a motherfucker's a child. Yeah, you facts. got some childish ass shoes on. So I feel like dirty forces are in child shoe game territory. So what if she just got a little rough? Pack? Like she a hustler, she grinding, she still like it ain't like she a bum. She just don't use her money towards materialistic things. She probably 
save it or put it here somewhere else. And she working at T-Mobile? Not in her fucking shoes. Right. She'd probably she probably work at T-Mobile and get hella commissions. Think, uh, and I used to work at Sprint. I made very, very good You ain't had no busted shoes on. I'm just saying, if I had busted shoes on, it didn't matter. I was in school, so I wish a nigga would say something about my shoes. I'd be like, okay, nigga, who gives a fuck? You gonna buy me some other, some more? Oh, you are? Can you just I give can, me the I money instead? I wouldn't date nobody in school right now, though. I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying. So if I seen you at, at T-Mobile while you in school with your busted shoes on, I'm gonna leave you to your 3, your 3 p.m. physics class, and I'm gonna go about my way. That's fine. But I have seen that shit work for some niggas. I seen it was some niggas, some girls when I was in uh, when I was in college got scooped up by baller niggas. But is it because you don't want to take you don't want to take the time to invest in her, make her better, or is invest it her? Is she gonna invest in me? Is this gonna be a? Talk about that. I, I'm, if, obviously, if you feel like you can invest in someone, you have to obviously feel like they you gotta get some type of something from it. Like you're not gonna just invest and not think that they could help you. Mm. Like off rip. What's some shit you a nigga you see a nigga got? No, uh, uh-uh, uh, not what would you see? Well, answer the question if, then, nigga. If you was talking to this if you was talking to somebody, like oh, you, you thought somebody, you missed it? Nah, baby, yeah, <laughs> you meet somebody off off rip, like boom, you meet him, and you talking, y'all, whatever. He cool as fuck. He look good, tall, real cute, and then he reaches to to get something he had on a Michael Kors watch. Would you continue to fuck with him, or would you? Not even just a Michael Kors watch. You you notice something about him that has like, yo, this niggas, niggas kind of bummy. He get bum. No, vibes. not he give bum vibes. No, he didn't. Get, he don't give no bum vibes at all. He didn't give no bum vibes at all. He dressed nice. Everything was nice. I'm just not feeling the Michael Kors. But watch. if he had a Michael Kors <laughs> watch, would that knock that. all that shit out the window? Knocking everything. Out. Well, I don't know. Okay, maybe we could talk about it. Maybe, but I really doubt it. What if he had no watch on. I prefer to have no watch. Oh, I feel right. you. Okay. I but prefer you to have no watch. I was just saying that to say because it's like I'm you okay can with meet no somebody watch. and they can be the but I'm okay with no watch because we, most well, charming I can pull person. my phone out and tell you the time it is. What if he just wearing a watch? watch. Like, cause he got it as a I could be his watch. Like, I had somebody tell me that before. I asked him. I met a guy and he had a, he was cute as fuck. He was cool as shit. And he had on a Michael Kors watch. Did you talk to him? I, I, we was already vibing when I, when I like seen it. So I was vibing, but I asked him. I'm like, why do you have on a Michael Kors watch? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Hold on, wait a minute. You, you want him to have on a Roly? I just like, asked him. The reason why I asked him because he was just popping a lot of shit. Oh uh, yeah, niggas can't do See, that. And that's what they you always come doing. Humble. They don't be humble. But hold on though. His response. Watch his response. What did he say? He said, oh, shit. She said, I got this from my brother when he died. Mm. He can't. That was a good-ass bailout on his. It was. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. It was. Not y'all like, y'all know the nigga But just lying. know I nah, peeped I it, though. Just but know we I know that's lame. Like. Just know I peeped like, oh, so you a broke-ass and smooth-ass nigga. Gotcha. Period. Yeah. That's gotcha. what I'm paying attention to. I, oh, okay. I, got, I just feel like you should just have no watch on it. Yeah, just don't put no, don't put it on. But Sometimes I felt you that though. Be Sometimes when he you said be that, I'm like, damn. Yeah. yeah, you gotta be humble, bro. That's it. Who? Hey, in general, it, like, yeah, you, 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 you gotta be humble. When you approaching, like, you, if you're talking to a chick, you just gotta tell her what's up. Like, I, I just did. But that. But he don't have to say nothing. What's up? He probably not even thinking. She probably thinks something about my fucking Michael Kors watch. It probably was a very expensive Michael Kors watch. But it was just a Michael Kors watch. So no, I'm really saying when I, in that instance, I'm saying when I say be humble, like, shit, I just liked it. You know, it looked good. Yeah. Cause if it was me, like shit, and like say, let's say I got a Michael Kors watch on. I don't be wearing watches. I wear beads. Mm-hmm. But if I have a watch on, she's like, why you got a Michael Kors watch on? Shit, you know, I like gold. Right. You know, it could be a a, a, a twenty four karat gold watch. That's my favorite color, gold. But I can respect that more. But it's just like you couldn't get the Rolex. But when you start making excuses that make it sound like you ashamed or whatever, whatever it is, that's when you got a problem. Yeah, but we didn't even get that far. It's like, am I going to continue this conversation or not based off of yo either dusty ass shoes or this Michael Kors watch that you have on? He had dusty shoes and a Michael Kors No, I'm watch? saying for y'all, the girl, the had, girl had dusty had ass dusty. shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then if a man had a Michael Kors watch, like me personally... And this sounds so shallow of me, and I feel so bad for saying it, but for some reason, if I see that shit shining up there, I'm going to be like, hey. So, all right, so let the record state that JoJo Alonzo is going to curve guy for having a Michael Kors watch on. Right. I didn't say curve. I said he going to make me be like. He's going to give you a little pause. 
I'm gonna have to be like, what's you know what I'm saying? Like at this point, if you so what around type of, what, me in what my type circle, of watch you need to have on? what I'm saying is if you around me in my circle down. right now in my life, you coming off some bread. So what? How do we get here? I was gonna say though, I was gonna add to what JoJo said, right? Because he can show up to me with the mother of course watch, but I need to know that when your check comes, I want like half. <laughs> Be you whatever. What? I'm okay if you don't on. have all the money. Hold on. But be free. Because that's, that's just what she wrote. We just met each other. That was a I scenario, right? Hold on. It went straight to money with Jojo, and I'm glad because that run shit down was going on you straight yet. to money with me. I don't give a fuck what kind of watch. It could be the Apple Watch, nigga. What's up with the money? Wasn't that you? You made a post about a gold digger. About, about, um, you made a po- some post on, on Twitter. Shit. Get off Twitter. What did I say? You said something about, uh, you said uh, niggas want, want a gold digger. And a young nigga had DM'd you. It was like, uh, come dig. Yes, he did. You yep. Said, come I, dig. I put on Instagram, like, niggas always complain about a gold digger, whatever, whatever. And then some nigga wrote me, like, come dig. Nigga, hello. <laughs> I'm on my way. Shovel? What? Ah. The biggest? I'm strong, too. <laughs> what? I'm digging. I feel like she but I'm not really like a gold digger. A while, while she was gone. I'm a what? I feel like you zipped that motherfucker down a little bit while you was. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slick. You she ain't it. slick. No. <laughs> we got a segment for that. <laughs> and do. <No. laughs> yeah, shout out to the gold diggers. Let me ask my. my what are we in? Fats Cap? What would homies do? No, you did the um, bedroom. Do we do what? What the homies do? Yes. I got one more. It's a it's a good one. Then we got time. It's a good one. So all right, so all right, everybody, listen. If your significant other cheats on you, right? You with somebody, they cheat on you, boom. But they get beat up by the person that they was cheating on you with. They get beat up by the person. Yeah, like say so your girl. So your the nigga, girl your nigga, beat him up. Yeah, like she like bitch, burn. <laughs> fucked him up. Hit your nigga in the eye. Okay. He got a black eye. Right. He got scratches on his chest and shit. Okay. He look. He got fucked up. Got you. Your girl. She got boom. Nigga slammed her against the wall. Boom. Are you helping them? Yeah. Are you helping them get revenge on this bitch? Yeah, I got to. But then. But are you? But are, are you taking her back? That's what I'm saying. It's the consequence after that. So I catch them in the act Shit. cheating. No, they come back to you, and you're like, "What happened to you? What happened to you?" Man, I was cheating, but she got down. Shit, you got. Bro. So oh. a girl that a girl that he just randomly. Man, no, no, he was cheating. He was okay. cheating on you. Cheating. He's con- he was okay. consistently. They were With in that a, girl. Yes. Oh, and they then, like got a thing. Yes. Okay. They were cheating. Mm. This is side bitch. Okay. Mm. And she beat his ass when she found out about me. It wasn't even, it wouldn't have had to be about you. It was just like she oh, just beat him up. Oh, okay, got you. Boom. Got it. Mm-hmm. Am I helping him beat her ass? Yeah, are, are you taking first of all, are you taking him back? And are you gonna fight that bitch on his behalf? What? First of all, I'm gonna fight him first. That's what I'm fight first. He tell me what happened and be like, <laughs> good. Boop, then I'm gonna knock his ass out. Then I'm definitely knocking that bitch out. What? Why the fuck is you hitting up on my nigga? Like, now I'm finna beat your ass. <laughs> I'm saying that's my nigga, bitch. That, no, nah, you're right. That's that's just fun, that shit is funny as hell. Why Why did you get I'm not, so I'm mad not saying you that wrong. my nigga did some shit? That's my nigga, but bitch. But he wouldn't have been in that situation if he wasn't cheating. I don't give a fuck. Control your feelings, ho. Now I'm finna beat your ass. And don't ever touch my nigga again. Nah, so Glenn, what do you think? I'm not gonna I, Me personally, I'm not gonna fight your side, bitch, because you got this bitch beating up on you. If I was gonna fight anybody, it'd be him. He'd be getting his ass whooped twice in one night, but I'm a changed person, so I don't wanna fight anybody. I'm gonna tell him to go come on and lay down quite quietly, because I gotta get some sleep. Or go back to this bitch's house and fight her again. I don't know, but I'm not fighting anybody. <laughs> My thing is, are round you two. going to around you too, round round two. Are, are you holding like, you up before like, fight? Is it like, 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 is it like, I would I'm willingly going thing. to go fight this bitch? Like, it's like, like, oh, uh-uh, fuck this bitch. You putting your Vaseline on, taking earrings out. So that's different. I'm thinking you saying like, shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, this bitch just hit me and he on some shit like, be her ass. Like, it's like, oh, okay, I'm finna go be her ass. But yeah. I don't. I wouldn't like leave my house and go pull up on the bitch and try to find her to fight to to fight her nah. But if I did see her though in the street somewhere, Chevy Randall. If I, I'm knocking her ass out though. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to that. 
If I see her, I'm going to beat the fuck Chevy, out of her. Chevy Randall. What about you? You beating a nigga ass? It's not even just cheating. Oh, you got to remember, right. it's the side person. This is a consistent I cheating. still got to whip his ass, though. Like, Because you got the nerve. I need whooping nigga ass, though. But I feel like, all right, so, so me, all right, so me, I feel yeah, like right. it really just depends on how deep we in, we in, yeah, in. Cause yeah, I feel like fact. at some point, even if you fact. cheat, even if you cheated, if we locked in for real, for real, then that's like you put your hands on my ex. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I still got to, you got you're feelings, locked in. First like, of all, you're locked in anyway, if you're going to get upset about this side bitch that's been going on for a long time. If you t just. No, I'm talking about like for in our situation, in our scenario. If it's a, even if in it's our scenario. It, it has to be somebody that we obviously genuinely yeah. fucked with in a relationship for a long time. Like, we fuck with each other. Like, I can't believe you was cheating on me, nigga, now. Like, what? But, same. Facts. Yeah, so if it's me, yeah, we put hands on the motherfucker. But uh, let's get into the big homie's bedroom where we talk about sex topics and shit. We be getting nasty in this motherfucker. You want to go first? <laughs> I'll go first, man. Well, I've been going first all day. You know, we're not going to break tradition. Uh, <laughs> why do you think it'd be like that? I definitely went first on Facts of Cap. No, you did. Uh, yeah. uh, anyway, uh, do y'all discuss sex with your family members? No. Like, ladies. Yeah, I do. Like, tip. And that's you coming with that. <laughs> I was not expecting Yo, that. Is. Oh, what Damn. the fuck? So, like, ladies, tips and tricks and shit, like, you know. But you said family members. Family members. Yeah. Wait, which ones? What are you talking like, about? Like older family not well, same age or older. I'm not talking about like, you know, you talking about the birds and the bees and shit. But Okay. Elaborate. So like say, alright, so I, I seen this video of this uh this 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 chick aunt. She was telling her she was showing her how to ride dick. Mm-hmm. So like shit like that. With like my yeah. auntie? Yeah. Yeah. She giving a game. What you know? What I'm saying I'm I'm older, like my like I'm a. I don't talk woman. about sex with my family. I don't. I Not don't. your uncles or not at all. Facts at all. We don't even insinuate that shit. We I don't. don't I don't cuss around my mama. Yeah. Facts. I don't. Like that, I'm kind of scared. About, I'm kind of scared about this live show on Wednesday. Oh, she gonna be there? Yes, and my aunt. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She gonna cuss you out. Why? You should, I told my folks no. My, They're like, oh, we coming? I said, don't come. I mean. I'll send you the stream. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know how this is going to work out. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, so, I feel that. my mom, I, I can't talk about no nasty shit, but I'm, I know I'm going to cuss. I ain't, my mom has never heard me cuss before. Like, like not in person. Like, she may watch the links I put up on the show. Right, so how she going to feel when they be like, yeah, because you got a big dick. Oh. Why would I talk about a big dick? I'm saying, like, you might say something like, yeah, but if you got a big dick. That's not in my vocabulary. That's not. Right. I'm, I'm saying, saying that. Right. Oh, you said well, shit. That's you. She already know you. Oh, fuck with it. But no, I'm saying I wouldn't. I wouldn't discuss nothing like that with my family at all. Like as far as I know, they they probably think I'm a virgin. They they probably know I'm not. But I ain't so, never had. That. I'm not I only think we had the birds and the bees conversation before. That's fine. I get that. There are certain boundaries, you know, I have with my with my family too, but. There's some, you know, family members. I don't talk to all of them, but there are certain family members I know I could talk to about it. You know, I'm a woman. They women. You know, maybe that's all I need to know. Like, teach me something. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, yeah. if your mama was like, yeah, baby, this is how you got that. No, my mean. mom better not say nothing like that to me. Every, like, if it, Exactly. Like, that's ah. what I'm saying. I, j I also said there's certain family members. Who, your cousin? Like, maybe my aunt. Cousins is different. No, I don't like think aunts. Like I have a few aunts that if how, I needed to go there, I would. How, I would. There's one aunt right? I would not ever say anything at all. But hmm? how much older are your aunts than you? Um, how old am I? Twenty nine. You to be. Um, maybe old. like seventeen, eighteen years. Damn, dude. Damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we talk about sex. You, they freaky, baby. Would you talk about sex with your family members? Um. So it depends. Do they? Do they? You have an issue. You might have an interesting perspective on this because you be wild on the internet. That's what I'm saying. So my family is not going to be shocked. Like most of my family, like, like even my mom. Your mom knows what you do. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. What? My mom knows everything. Like my family knows everything. It's not really no like secrets in my family. Like they know what the fuck I got going on. So I could talk to them if I want to, but it's like they probably won't talk to me. Mm -hmm. They be asking you for tips. 
I don't know, like, my mom had, like, a little party, whatever, the other day, and I was at the party, and we was playing some, like, sex adult game or whatever. See, I could do that. And, but I see, my mom that. is, like, it's not, like, an old lady. She's not, like, this is, like, a, she look like me. She act like me. You know what I see? Like, I see you, you do makeup and shit? That was your mom makeup you did? On Twitter. I did my Googles, I did my Googles on you, baby. He was, he was on a lot of tweets. I see. Yeah, this is not I recent did. tweets. I, I do my research. I do, like, I do my research for this shit. Yeah. yeah. So, my mom, she not like no old lady to where it's going to be like, oh my God. It's like, I did a fucking, you didn't see the video. I didn't put it on Twitter. But it was the video. They had a dick sucker. Like, you know, the suckers of the dicks? At the fucking party my mom had. So, the game mm -hmm. said put the condom on the dick with no hands or some shit. Oh, I'm wow. great at that. So I put the fucking condom on the, the dick How sucker with my mouth. And my mom is sitting there recording like, oh, 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 my God. Like, my mom's hyping me up. She ain't never seen no shit like that before. So oh. I be putting her on. I should have brought the cucumber this episode. So do you like <laughs> the yeah. zucchini? Yeah, the zucchini. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. I don't know. I just like my family is more open-minded. They cool. Like, they know we some, we with the shit. Damn near all of us. So it's not like You got a, siblings? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I have um, I have a few siblings, but like my siblings, no, we're not really talking about that stuff. No, but I got like little kid siblings or like younger siblings. I'm not just to talk to sex with them. Oh, but okay. My older siblings, we don't have no close enough relationship to talk about that stuff. I'm more talking like my mom or like my cousins or my aunt or mm -hmm. you know. Gotcha. Not my siblings, are they? It's like kids to me. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I, have my, I have older. I'm the baby girl. So no, I'm the oldest of my sister. mom's kids. And then, like, my dad's kids. Y'all the babies? I'm the baby yeah. girl. Yeah, no. I'm the, I, it's only two of us, so shit. And really, I'm older. Like, we include my cousins. I'm the second older. But he's only older than me like, by like a month. Yeah, I got four older sisters. So. Y'all the same age. So you can talk <laughs> to them about sex, right? See, I didn't have that. I don't need to, but I'd be like, yeah, I don't bitch, know. I had some good ass dick. I was riding the fuck out that dick, bitch. Like, see, I don't like have no sister. I mean, I have an older sister, but me and her don't talk like that. I could, yeah, I could go tell Twitter. I wrote the fuck out that dick like, before I, I fucking like call my older sister and tell her that. Like, <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. you got a bedroom question? Yeah. So nasty. So, <sighs> men, would y'all be com <laughs> comfortable with it? <laughs> let me not just let me. Let me ask you. Get it. Would you be comfortable if your man told you that he likes fingers in his ass? Okay. Or you can even take it to the extreme to where he wants you to like strap on and give him like penetration. No, that's not gonna work for me. No. When you when he wants me to get his first penetration. I just feel like I could respect him because it's he's asking me, but I just don't know if I'm going to be comfortable doing that because at that point, I'm probably not going to look at him the same, but I'm open-minded and I'm a free spirit, so I try not to judge people, so I feel like if he wants a woman to do that, we might just have to find him somebody to do that, but it, it just might be me. So I asked that that's, because that's I, watched this, yeah, so I, I watched this show, this Tyler Perry show called Sisters. And there's no, I, I seen no, no, I didn't there's, see that. that I'm talking about Harlem. Oh, there's this guy on there who he doesn't like women at all, but he likes for a woman to give him that pleasure. And so she having problems, like, well, she not even having problems with it. She's like, okay, she thought about it, and then she's like, okay, I might be okay. I'm not, I can't do that, but I'm, a, I'm comfortable with being with you. But her friends like. Bitch, what? Stop fucking with him. So wait, sh he doesn't like women, but he's dating this woman? No, he likes women. Oh, he, he does, does like women? Yeah, if I said okay. that. Okay, okay, okay. So he likes, oh, okay, yeah, he did. Because I was so confused, like, well, what the fuck? We're, what are we talking about? No, no, no. I was like a gay, a gay dude that wants yeah. to like so, Yeah, yeah, He doesn't like men. My okay, bad. Sorry. okay. So he doesn't like men, he likes women, but he wants his women to do that. Yeah. So... That's not unfamiliar to me. I know about somebody who had that type of situation. I just feel like... Me, personally, like I said, I'm open-minded, so you should do whatever works for you. If you don't got on problems strapping up and fucking your nigga, you go ahead. But that's girl. why we, a few weeks ago we said you got to be open about your expectations in the bedroom. And so your, like, your fantasies. Yeah, like, and, and, that, and that's I not saying. That's, I don't know if I want to do that, but let's just say this is like the man of my dreams. I love this man so much. I want to marry him. I want to give him babies, right? I'm not going to be like, 
I don't want to be with him because he wants me to strap him, strap up and fuck him. I might not want to look at my man like that, but we're going to find you some sexy girl who want to do that for you, mm-hmm. you know? And y'all go have y'all time, and you come back and be my perfect oh, man. Because I'm not going to ruin that go my to, man. Does that go to, like, not only that, but just him fucking another bitch because he just want to fuck another bitch? So... Or is it uh-uh. different because Me it's personally... Like, we're not saying bring her into it. No, I'm about to tell you. Okay. I'm about to tell you. Uh-oh. So me personally, I have this super fucking kinky fucking shit going with me. And I feel like I like seeing my man fuck another girl. I want to watch. Don't be trying to keep it away from me. Like, I understand that every girl's not going to want to have sex with me. But most of them are. But every so often they don't want to. And that's okay too because... Y'all could do your thing, and I could just sit back and watch, because mm-hmm. women are beautiful. I Shout like out to women. Not So Glam. Women are beautiful. Women are beautiful. Yeah. I like women though, so I look at women and I be thinking like, how could a nigga not want to fuck these bitches? I like, feel that, but um, you know what I'm saying. But that's just me, and I feel like that's where it goes to being honest and finding somebody who works with you. Because mm-hmm. I'm not with getting cheated on. I'm not with nigga just feeling like she not gonna care. Like no, I do care. It's about us having boundaries and you stand within our boundaries. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? That's it's what you're trying it, to do things about on the your boundaries. own. It's, that's a problem. You gotta for me. you gotta set those boundaries. You gotta tell her what to expect and what you into. And y'all gotta like if, and it, like you say, you be cool with a nigga bringing in a bitch. Yeah, Other but, women like, went, but it has to be like with the moderation. Don't be thinking like every night is in the yeah. bitch. And but if I'm, not finna be getting but I be like jealous that. though. Like if See, I, I don't be hear, jealous because I just feel yeah, like I can't hear no bitch moaning because my nigga dick in you. Like, like, I'll slap <laughs> shit out you like that's my dick, bitch. People, People pull it out. That's what I think. Like, you <laughs> think that big of a deal. It's like, shit not about you, bitch. <laughs> It don't be about them either, though. That's Take the feelings away, bitch. You got to think like a nigga. You better not like that nigga either. Looking out the right. window. You see what I'm saying? Because he going to give you that dick. I'm fucking well, this, well, this is Jeez. this is your industry. So, do you have any wild, crazy. wild sex stories that you have that you've ever experienced? What's wild? What do you? What's wild to you? I it's, don't know if I have. I don't know what I would consider wild. Well, you had your boobies out on on Los Angeles. Uh, what's the main Las street? Vegas. It's Vegas. I'm tripping. Yeah, on on the Vegas Strip. I don't do a lot of things. It's the wild. What? No, I, I've done so many wild things. It doesn't make any sense. What's the wildest wild. thing to you though? Like the one I that, don't know what would be considered the wildest thing to me. Like it's something that you like. Damn, I was tripping. Niggas, I I've had. I always be tripping. I be so thinking just like a moment you where doing? you did some tripping. I don't know because I'm always thinking like, what the fuck are you? Do- what were you doing? Name what, some well, normal one, one of them. One Name of, some yeah, normal. Yeah, one one of them. That was just like, yo, what was I doing? It don't gotta be the wildest one because obviously that's probably gonna be a. Uh, mm. Well, she don't even remember. That's what I'm saying. It's, I don't know. It, it's better if you guys ask me, like, have you done this? And I'm like, yeah. Well, what brings you to Atlanta? You was on vacation? I was No, I was here with the Buns in basketball. Oh! I put that video on the group chat. You did? Well, I was did. The group chat. Nah, we got like a little production group chat. And what like, was the video? It was just a video uh, of it going on. Like it was like one of the old ones. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it was so before. It was, was like happening. Saturday. No, I figured, yeah, happen, this, just, yeah. this one just happened. It was yeah. a flyer, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I guess you, was out, you was out there with your cheeks out on the court? Mm-hmm. Going boom. Boom, 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 And I don't play no basketball, so... I seen the promo shit for that motherfucker. Them girls had on sandals. I'm like, y'all about, y'all they should. They had no sandals on. It was trip. some girl. Like, it maybe have been, it may have been a skit or something, but they definitely uh, had sandals. I'm like, we no, it was a pro. It was a promo. It wasn't the actual okay, game. Okay, because I'm like, we can't play no damn basketball. Nah, this, these, these girls had on skin, sandals. I was looking at bro. Your toes about to hurt. <laughs> no, them girls surprisingly, they really could play ball. Like. Nah, some of we had we had like right. one of, we had one or two of them on the show before. Remember the the girl that was on the episode yeah. with Carlos? I remember. Yeah, she was on the motherfucker before. Someone, Carlos who? Miller. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh no, this, we, we popping. Uh, hey, <laughs> hello. Oh, we popping. We popping. I seen the but so so how many points did you get? None. I didn't even get anything. You got them ass shots though. Hello. <laughs> and then everybody kept saying like, Is your ass real? Why isn't it? Yes. Look how little my butt is. A little bit. Yeah, your shit. I mean, it look natural. Yeah. I ain't really look at it like out of respect for the nigga that was with you when you came here. 
See, Ezra's just not my nigga. She don't have a nigga. Don't she nigga. told me, but like, if you see a girl, but if you see a girl with a nigga, you gonna assume. Right. Like, that's why I don't be trying to go out with no niggas because they always be blocking every time. Because they always think you with a nigga, but I'm not with. I went up with my brother. Niggas was on me that whole night. I know I was bad as fuck that night. I'm like, oh, okay, that's not my nigga. I got one worse than that. I got one worse than that. I was at my brother. I was at this Chinese this Chinese shop, right? And I was like, this girl got a fat ass, but I think she was a nigga. But I seen her taking his order and shit and like telling like the person what he wanted or whatever. I'm like, that might be his mom. That nigga's just big. Tenders? That nigga's just big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a kid. It was a kid. That nigga's just big as hell. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, y'all so yeah, y'all be looking good as hell out in public. But we learn. You can't goddamn talk. Really, y'all can't know. talk to their ass when they're at the gas station. So. Why is you single? Because I just feel like I know my words. Like, why do I want to be in the house crying sad over my nigga cheating on me all day? Because one thing a nigga gonna do is cheat. Or you could just come to the fact that your nigga gonna cheat and then just... But the thing is, I'm not even tripping off the cheating. Like, I am tripping off the cheating. But let me tell you, I got my own life and my own shit going on, right? If you let me make it, I'm gonna let you make it. What yeah, is, what is making it? But they're never gonna let you make yeah, it. No, no, no. Because he's I, never no, gonna I, let no. me make it. I'm gonna tell so you why. Like, I feel like it's because of the industry you're in. So what, no, what no. does no. making it look like for you? What is making it look like for you? No, we gotta a, a, answer, it, answer that no, question. Right. Let's talk about what is making it look like for you? Let's talk about it. No, but let's talk about it. Why get with somebody in a certain industry, living a certain lifestyle, if you know you can't handle it? Because he's trying to take you out of it. What? How you gonna take me out of my career? Even worse. Let me tell you, even worse. Okay, because I why would I be that, a housewife? I'm right? making money. No, but I turned into a housewife, right? Like a complete housewife, no foul shit, right? Had a kid and everything, and a motherfucker wanna leave me in the house like a broke bitch. I just don't have time for this. You, why he's out retiring a bitch from the strip club? So you want me to stop my whole shit while you go get another bitch out of her whole shit? What you the I'm whole collector? I don't have time. He's Captain Sabo. Like Captain Thanos. Sabo. He's collecting ho. the, the and you want me to be the broke hoe talking about the infinity hoe. Yeah, because he want to control you. It's a shit. control factor, and that's why I don't have time for it. And that's why I stay single because really I'm going to let you shit. do you. Let me do me. And when we get together, let's just do us. But you don't know how to let me do me. You're going to want to go to war. Again, about what, is your, me. what is you want the, the top of your career? What does that look like for you? Like, what is your goals for your career and what you're doing now? So, to be honest... You're trying to be in the banner tab at, no, at Pornhub? No, no, In all actuality, um, I wouldn't mind to stop being a super hoe on the internet. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind starting my own business and doing things. I have real other dreams. Not saying that being a adult star and things like that is not real dreams, because it is. But I have other dreams as well. And I just feel like... People see the option you took, but they don't see the options you had. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not going to respect another man coming into my life telling me to stop sex work, but he not going to promote me going to start my own business. He want me to go work for somebody else. So, you want to keep me down. You don't want to really uplift me. But it's like, you chose to be with me, just like I chose to be with you. I'm honest about me, but you're not honest about you. Because you're a hoe, too. You love hoes. But you're not saying that. Just let us both be hoes. If we both hoes, straight, like, what's the problem? But well, if you out here well keeping me here, you keeping me here, right here, right? But you out here cheating, doing whatever. The Why fuck you can't do. I be doing what I want to do too? But you just cheating and you just fucking. If I'm gonna cheat, just know that that's extra money for us. Thank you. But the thing be also like it's you're not getting no money. I'm getting some money. I'm getting right? money. <laughs> but the thing is like. I probably ain't even doing half the shit I'm you're doing. I'm not fucking. I'm not fucking. I'm just even if I do fuck nigga. sometimes. No, 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 but Ew. why women can't like to fuck too? No, because you're in a relationship. You in a relationship too? And you fucking. Nah. What we saying? What we're but saying is said, no, 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 the majority of the time, we can go out and cheat without fucking a nigga and get hella bread from one nigga while you fucking a bitch and just fucking her. And now you got her running around Atlanta or LA she thinking she got you and shit and love and shit. And I got to worry about this bitch slashing my tires and shit because bitches is crazy. But I'm out here getting this bread from this nigga like... What? We don't even have to fuck. Now, maybe one time this nigga probably giving a lie. He done bought me a car. He done bought me a house. 
at this point, this nigga, I better shit. give him some pussy. Shit. My nigga already cheating. Like, why do y'all be feeling like y'all like should own somebody like else's pussy? That. When y'all always fucking trying to pussy, like, 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 get wet. We not, we not own it. We, if you we like this, that motherfucker. y'all don't feel like y'all leasing that motherfucker. Y'all want to put all the miles on my pussy and all the miles on hers. But I need to keep mine in the house. She's keep hers in the house. Nigga, I'm outside. Mm. She said what she said. The fuck, I'm okay. outside. She said she outside. And stuff like because the thing is, monogamy is fueled Good. towards men. Women stop all their suitors. Women can get gifts from him, 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 him. And it's but we're gonna stop for you. Mm-hmm. But you're not gonna stop anything. Now I don't mm-hmm. get my rent paid. I don't get shit. I'm just fucking you. And that's some bullshit. I'm not doing that. Hell I no. want 17 boyfriends. Mm. You real? The fuck? Oh, the she the Why not? She and they're the all coming through. She making the no girl. bills for me. Why not? She, happiness for me. If we're all happy, we're all getting what we want. Why the dating pool has women? piss in it. Because of y'all. Shit. Y'all got to think. If y'all were so great to women, women would never think like this. Facts. We would be wanting to be in the house sucking one dick. Yes. Getting our bills paid by yes. one nigga. Because yes. we all really want that. Mm-hmm. But we know it's not real. Niggas want their bills paid too. Fuck out of here. Y'all got 17 <laughs> bitches. Ask them hoes to pay bills. All of them want their bills paid. Sure. So instead of multiplying by 17, we got to divide. But you should get one bitch. But you don't want one bitch. Yeah, you don't. You so just I'm said not you're like, not paying a nigga bills even if he oh, asked. Not, I already did all those things though. That's the thing. So we got to suffer because a nigga that you had in the past fucked up? Because guess what? What? Chose one, chose them all. So I don't know. What you mean? Yes, yes. They all that's are like that as a thing. Because like, that's what niggas are. They're like. all horrible. When you have friends or family members from different walks of life and they're all experiencing the same thing as you, yeah. it kind of goes to show. And not people just around you. you and motherfuckers you don't even know that's on the Instagram. You look on the internet and we all going through this. Girl, going through every through this day. Same somebody, shit. Why the girl's phone was turned off the other day? She called her nigga cheating. He turned her phone off. Don't you want me to not tell nobody? I just can't. Yeah. They always begging to get them out of that situation. Let, let's but go, they let's go to the, the, the yeah, last please topic. Please switch the topic. Uh, it's just y'all sad. are toxic. Y'all are toxic. Roddy, Niggas big homie's shit. bedroom. I mean, damn, big homie's kitchen. I'm tripping. They they got me got there. <laughs> big <laughs> homie's kitchen. No, nah, we're going to big homie's shit. kitchen, man. Talking about, this, talking about this hot shit that she got cooking, man. What's up, what's going on, man? What's, what, up? What, what, what's up with the music? I got some heat, nigga. Who you working with? So you from Jersey? Yeah, from AC. AC. Yeah. Who who the hottest niggas out of Jersey? Me. Hello. That's me. I like the moxie on this one. That's me, but we got we got some we got some artists, underground artists that's that's still working and shit. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like I was blessed to be signed and shit. Who you signed to? Legacy Records. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I mean? CEO Keisha. You know what I mean? Okay. She out there handling shit. Okay. It's a billion dollar label though. So what it's you do? So what? So what brings you to Atlanta? Shit, you got to touch the market. I be in Atlanta all the time though. Like, yeah, I gotta touch the market, but I yeah. be in Atlanta like all the time type shit. So if you wasn't like, rapping, what would you be doing? Fuck, I don't know. Selling drugs. That's real. That's an honest ass answer. answer. Shit, like that's facts. How long, like, so all right, so I guess a better question would be: How long have you been <laughs> doing the music shit? Shit, I've been doing this shit since probably like the sixth grade. Like, niggas start rapping. I was playing around though. Yeah. Took it like serious in like freshman year. Uh, high uh, school? Yeah, high school. Gotcha. Yeah. Yup. So, like, I was getting feedback in the high school and all that. But that's when shit got real. Got gotcha. you. Okay. You no, know, see my mom working this shit, bro. Like, niggas ain't trying. Niggas trying to retire moms and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. That's what's up, though. Nah, that's that's yeah. Niggas gotta have a goal, so you know we we definitely appreciate that shit. So what's what's like your background? Did you come from the streets? Like, did you have a suburban I mean, home? Did you have were, a, were you a suburban kid? Nah, I ain't a like, so suburb, did you have a two two car garage? No, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm from, I'm from the trenches. Okay. Okay, I'm from yeah. back Merlin. I don't know if y'all. It's, it's in Lang City. Yeah. No. I don't know nothing. You don't know nothing, right? Nothing about yeah. nothing. I know yeah, Red Man from Jersey. That's yeah. Nah, he from up north. I'm yeah. from this, where all the casinos and shit at. You, in the, like, you feel me? Down all that's Jersey to me. I don't. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, cause you don't, you don't know. But yeah, yeah, that's where I'm from though. Like, you know, struggling. We came on struggling. Yeah. The same shit. Like, you heard? I was I mean, just asking that question because so when you started doing music. And you felt like what your freshman year you said you felt like yeah I'm gonna take this shit serious. Yeah. Did that become like you see yourself getting you and your family like out of that? Yeah, like I 
I really manifested this shit though. Like, I imagine myself being this big. You know. As you should. You know what I mean? So like, that yeah. shit and God, like, he helped me. Shout out to the big G, the biggest homie. Yeah. Yeah. So, so nah. Nah, we appreciate, we appreciate nah, you like, kicking you it really with the homies, man. really gotta manifest some shit, bro. Nah, like, that's yeah. fact. People, people yeah. don't know, like, they don't know that shit. Like, I be talking to fucking... You write, your, you write your goals down? Yes. Yes. You gotta do that shit. <coughs> you have to. Yeah, that was the biggest thing for me this year. I wrote all my goals down. You have down. to. Like, yeah. Like not start, a, not on the note either. She know I don't like to write, but I wrote them shits down on like a big ass piece of paper. I got to write. Mm-hmm. I don't like writing. My write, my handwriting like And that. as you continue, you look at them. You, can, you work. You cross yours yeah, out. You, you yeah, cross you yours cross out. Them out. out. Yeah. yeah, check them off. That's what I do. I mean, check them off. You cross your goals out. Do you write your goals down? I don't write them on paper. You got you got to write them on paper. You have to. You have more I success feel that like way. That. I do feel like that, but I never write them on paper. Get a big ass pe- get a big ass sheet of motherfucking uh, the wallpaper. Not the not wallpaper, wallpaper, but like the the sticky note that you put on the wall, mm-hmm. and you write this shit down. That shit that shit changed yeah, my I life. I had I had I had I had nine goals at the beginning. You had seven of them, mm-hmm. and really? I, and all don't. The only reason I didn't reach those two because it would have compromised one of the other seven. Did you call sticky notes wallpaper? <laughs> no, do you know like there's that. a big ass wallpaper that you could put on the wall? It's and it sticks to the wall. I don't, it looks oh, like a sticky like note. School. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like okay. a sticky note. Some teacher shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah, that's where I got it from. <laughs> that's where I got it from. This teacher. Yeah, nigga. I stole that shit. But um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He did not say yeah. what he had just said. Go. <laughs> 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 shit, let's get into the last segment, man. You know what time it is. Yeah. Well, before we go there, because everybody gonna want to see that, so. This is our last live. Sh- well. Last show. Last studio show for the year. Studio show for the year. So, it's Christmas time. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. We giving away gifts. Wait, yeah, I'm actually. Sure. Can you pass me my purse? Oh. Thank you. Yeah, so, that being said. What the fuck? This <clears throat> is for my beautiful, talented, Videographer, fuck is you talking about? Mm. Cash. Oh. These niggas gay. <laughs> <laughs> Not gay. <laughs> because period. Thank, Thank you, you Jojo. for everything. Oh. Hello. This is so cute. Wait, can I open it now? Yeah, all go the ahead. camera, she had all the business. And then you know I got the big homie, right? I say. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> put, he, <laughs> put, he said he was on that shit. Oh shit. You lying to me. Wait. What the fuck? Oh. You is lying to me. You gotta throw them off. You fucking cunt. What are you throw doing? Them off. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yes, sir. Right now. You gotta throw them off. Yes, sir. You are so yes, gay. Sir. <laughs> Yes, you are so, so gay. Daddy, what did I say right now? That's so pretty. <laughs> Ray Ban motherfucker. Uh-huh. Yes, you are so gay. You like them though, don't you? Yeah, you know, a little something for my niggas, cause we wouldn't be who we are if it wasn't for you and for you. Game time. I you appreciate know. y'all. Damn. Merry bro. Christmas. That's a hundred. Damn, bro. Alright. Love. Gotta get her now, bro. <laughs> Gotta get her now. Alright. Cool. Well, <laughs> all right. Thank you, Jojo. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. You my nigga. Now it's time for everybody's gift. I cannot. Not me. Yam yes. cam. We have a segment called the yam cam. You gotta move this. You gotta move this out. You just gotta sit your move these yams. You gotta Girl, you just sit your yams, yams right here. Right here, your yams right right here, here by me, Jojo. and then let me touch them. Oh, Jojo, I've been waiting. I know, I know, I know. Okay. She want me. She want me. She want this. All this. Episode right, eighty nine of the Big Homie Show. Episode sixty nine. Damn. What is happening? Oh God. I episode <laughs> of the Big Homie Show. We got the homies in the building. <laughs> big Homie Roddy. Big Homie Jojo. Big Homie Nye. Everybody good. Everybody good. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. 